So it is that time of the week for Team of the Week, and we have got Diani back again at 360 for a 90 rated card. Obviously, with the Team of the Week, the big thing is the double Playstar Plus. Now, she does have a couple of versions that are technically cheaper, but this card has only been out for a little bit, so bear with. You've obviously got the Thunderstruck, which I believe is just a single Playstar Plus with Travella at 300, give or take. And then we have Whipped Pass and Travella for the right wing Team of the Year Honorable. Now we have technically got a loss in cards, so I can imagine this will drop down. You've got the difference as well for acrobatic and pinged pass. Now I quite liked the whipped pass and also Travella just because her striking prowess is normally phenomenal. It's been a while since I've used her in terms of down the wing, so I'm very interested to see where this card can go. But 4 star, 4 star can still play that striking role. Obviously has like a 2 downgrade on everything, which is fine, I suppose. I don't know why they didn't go 1 above, because... We got the nine. Well, we got the eighty-nine for the normal. So then we got the ninety-two for the thunderstruck with the upgrade. Then we got the ninety-two for the honorable. Why we didn't get a ninety-three in form? Like we could have still got a double play star plus. Why they've had to go backwards on it? it it's I don't know. Some I get it for like Virgil or anybody with a team of the year. They're not gonna put it one above the team of the year, but. Really, 93 is not going to hurt her that much. Like, it's, it's just not going to be that incredible that everybody's going to go out and buy it. But I just think that we could have gone one up. So we'll see how she goes. The pinged pass and acrobatic is going to be interesting to see how she works. Let's see if she's still relevant. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7 Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. Lovely back heel. Can we find anything then? The rapid would have been a really big move. Oh, that's terrible. Who we even got? Okay, so she should be able to beat him down the wing pretty easily. Whether this opponent's ready for this or not, but I, I feel like something, a play style plus with more of a speed on it would have been nice as an extra kind of parting gift. Obviously, this would be where the whip pass would come in. What do we got? We've got pinged pass, which I suppose is... Okay, that's going to be pretty nice. I do, I must admit, the ping pass to start with, I was kind of half and half with because I'm just like, well, what is the use? But being able to literally do that in straight into feet is definitely going to have, what on earth was that shot? Is definitely going to have some use and, and most definitely I can see where a lot of the midfielders are now becoming more meta with it. It's just an extra bonus. It's, it's better than press proven in my eyes. So it's definitely not going to be the worst you just got to compare it. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh, here we go. That See, that's where the Traveller comes in. That could have been where the, where the goal extra is there. So that's the bit that I've kind of got to think. Is the card worse or better for the player style pluses? I'm not feeling acrobatic. I'm not going to lie. I, I like it every now and then. But I mean, it's, it's not necessarily my go-to. But when you've got a card that I'm so used to having that Traveller, you, you automatically go to that. What are we looking for? No free kick ability whatsoever. We've got Matthias on here. Let's see if we can get the pass off. I can see her again. Little link. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not the pass I wanted. Oh, lovely bit of skill. And again. Uh, it's got two men on. Could we just try it? Would you go for a corner at the minimum, honestly? Love her run forward every single time. It's it's why I really like her as a striker. As option wise, she is absolutely impeccable for making them runs. It's a a really good trait of hers, and she does have a decent left stick, great pace on her. Obviously, Virgil's just going to be Virgil in himself. The pinged pass, I'm liking. I feel like it's definitely something you could get used to. Oh, I wanted him to make the move quicker. Pinged pass into push gas. And he's just letting me... Oh, this this is why I still think push gas is absolutely overrated. Like, it's ridiculous. that that It's a clean shot. It should be straight bag and easy. I can't give him any better chance than that. Into a feet. Outstep. Left foot. I mean, that was, that was pretty simple, to be honest. But, ooh. Uh, we'll swing it wide. I feel like I could get it into a there. Bang. Oh, good save. I'd say the only problem now with the pinged pass is we don't have a shooting play style plus. So 
it almost forces her to be on the wing where I do think she can be an incredible striker. But then you're not necessarily using the passing as much because obviously you're wanting her to be the striker. If you're going to play her in striker, you want her to be finishing, not passing the ball away. Unless obviously you have got two two strikers, then that, that obviously works. Not a problem. Good play. Keeps it running. One more. Oh, that's poor. That's very, very poor. Into her feet. Looking to do Virgil. Double ball. Little one. Anybody get the goal. This guy is just on borrowed time. Left, right and centre. So we find it. Pings it back to her. Come on. Lovely bit of skill. Looks for the through ball. See, this is the problem. I kind of want her as the assister, but... Oh, that's where I wanted her as well. Get there. No! Has she still got it? Is he throwing everything at me? Come on. Keep throwing! Shoot! There we go. Just what I needed. So, Diane's coming in at 320. Not a bad price. She definitely is a decent card. Again, very similar to a lot of the double play star pluses. It, she's got one, like the ping pass, love it. Acrobatic will, will will always be good in moments. It's not necessarily a go-to for me. I'm not spamming acrobatic movements, volleys and left, right, center. You're keeping it mainly on the floor. I would say the ping pass is definitely a nice improvement. When we look at the difference between, obviously, the two cards, if we look compared to the Thunderstruck, it's mainly the stats. And she did have the Traveller Plus. I could go like for like and say the ping pass is still as useful as the Traveller, so that's decent. When we obviously look at the difference between the team of the year honourable, it does have the same stats, so we are losing the pace shooting only by plus twos and, and three on passing, which is more than fine. But then you do lose the Traveller and the whipped pass. That The only kind of negative to that in my eyes is both of them are quite useful. Yes, you will have to shoot with a Traveller, but it's definitely a decent, you can get into that position quite easily with her. Whereas the Whip Pass as well is an extra bonus if you use it. If you don't, then it's going to be literally useless. Whereas you are going to have to pass. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. So the Ping Pass is nice, especially in them dire situations where you need to sneak a pass in. If you got incisive and pinged, that's going to be a very decent play style. I want to say... Is it Kevin De Bruyne's team of the year that has that? No, it doesn't. Who has pinged pass and incisive? Somebody has it, but I can't remember who, or at least I'm pretty sure they had it. Now, the card is coming down a lot in price now. We're at 320. I can imagine we will go under these prices as well, so that would be nice. I'd imagine somewhere around the 150 to 220 mark. I can't see much less than that because she does have the double play style plus still. Still a four star, four star as always. Obviously, in terms of chemistry style, you're looking maybe Hunter. You're looking maybe Engine potentially. No one's actually voted. So if I was to keep controlled explosive, you get 98 pace, 92 shooting kind of more of your forward-esque sort of striker. Then if he was going for more of a passing game, you might go engine, maybe to get a bit more on that passing. His shooting's decent, it's just the shot power that's taking the hit. But I still think then you're pretty fine regardless. I'd probably just go with the Hunter if I'm being brutal. Get the maxed out pace, as much shooting as possible. You've got the short passing down to a T. Vision's there. Crossing's decent enough if you're keeping her on the wing. And even dribbling. Everything's high bar from the composure, which is just is what it is. The 85 is still good enough at this point in the game. Obviously, strength and all of that is is good enough for a winger most definitely so just as good as the others i'd argue that to be honest you could potentially just go for this one anyway being 320 it's it's really not that bad of a price especially for how good she truly is but if this one does drop down to like 100 150 it's going to be well worth your money so let me know down below what you think and i'll catch you all for the next one peace